One bold and obvious way for popes and prelates to assume authority over God's people is to make them believe that the God of creation cannot write a book his own children can understand. Therefore, only the Pope himself and those that echo his words are the ones worthy and the only ones entrusted on planet Earth to be able to understand God's word. They actually teach this in their own catechism books, and just so you know, they also declared this strange claim on the Vatican website itself, which says for all to see that the task of interpreting the word of God authentically has been entrusted solely to the magisterium of the church, that is, to the Pope and to the bishops in communion or agreement with him. Now keep in mind, these are the same popes that teach all sorts of unbiblical falsehoods as well as declare in writing that it's okay to mix paganism with Christianity. Cardinal Newman admits in his own book that the use of temples and these dedicated to particular saints and ornamented on occasions with branches of trees, incense, lamps, and candles, votive offerings on recovery from illness, holy water, asylums, holy days, and seasons, the use of calendars, processions, blessings on the field, sacerdotal vestments, the tonsure, the ring in marriage, turning to the east, images, the ecclesiastical chant, and the curia eleison are all of pagan origin and sanctified by their adoption into the church. Now, also keep in mind that cardinals are second only to the popes, and they will always echo that which the popes have sanctified. Otherwise, they'll never be considered to become a pope. And so what does the Bible say about mixing paganism with Christianity? Well, there are actually hundreds of Bible verses declaring paganism to be sinful. But just to mention one, Leviticus 18, verse 3, which, by the way, speaks of Egypt as the birthplace of paganism, wherein over 85% of all Catholic symbolism is now found in it says that after the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwell, shall ye not do. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whither I bring you, shall ye not do. Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. Yet even though the Bible says embracing paganism is against God's will, the Pope and those that put pen to paper for the Pope's state quite boldly in writing that the penetration of the religion of Babylon became so general and well known that Rome was called the new Babylon. And in the book Stanley's History on page 40, it says that the popes filled the place of the vacant emperors of Rome, inheriting their power, their prestige, and their titles from paganism. And so to all those precious Roman Catholics out there that love the Lord, I implore you to please pray and then open the Bible that the Creator God wrote for each and every one of us. And hopefully you too will see what so many before you have seen over the centuries. And once realized, you too will hear the call of the voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Thank you for watching. God bless.